Steph, what would you tell a young player that's getting ready, probably that, that has the, the skill level of us about going into the NBA? I mean, what, what kind of advice would you give that person? Well, it, you know, I, I would always like to know his personal situation. You know, is he, is he, you know, is he close with his father, close with his family members? What is his long-term goals? What is his short-term goals? What, is the, what are the things right now financially that are pressing to him? What are the things that are relational that maybe baby mom or anything that's going on in his life that I, that will, that I can help mitigate to keep his focus on what will keep him paid? over time, because it has to be sustainability. I was a, easily a 10 year guy, but I had a one year guy brain. So, you know, my mindset was, I was just too happy to be there. If you go in there like that, you're gonna be in and out. So if you go in and take it serious as a job, it is a job and you have to maintain professionalism. And if you don't know what that means, you need to have some people around you that can remind you or sh share with you what it means and how to do it. But those guys who don't get that, they're, they're squandering millions and millions of dollars. I mean, I, I can name a lot of them right now. I can tell you, you know, when Latrell Sprewell was on top of his game, nobody could say anything to him on or off the court as far as money he was making, his game. And he, the, the parallel I'll draw with him, he reminds me of, it reminds me of James Harden. It, you know, here's a guy that's on top of the world, but it seems, you know, his arrogance knows no bounds. You know, so everybody that says anything against him, they hating or they – this or they that. I mean, dude, I ain't got time to hate. I mean, I don't have that much time to focus on you. I got too many other things. It's just call it what you see. You know, I don't hear see this guy that James Harden, uh, muscular district foundation. I mean, some people give and you nobody know that they're giving. But this guy lets everybody know he's giving strippers money. So, okay, there's some other we're more worthy causes out there. I, I'm sure. But maybe I'm wrong. That's his money. He earned it. But if you look at history and when you the guys start going down there, I'm going to be a baller role. You know, you're just giving, and we already know right now from a trust standpoint, we don't know who law, law enforcement is just by the people that just raised the, the, the capital. So if you're going to take your chances out there with who you think law enforcement is or who you think is not a snitch or not a narc or not whatever, and you out there trying to show that lifestyle, they're going to wrap you up and they're going to get some of that money back. So you got to You got to know, you know, what's, what's out there. You have to have intelligence. You have to have management. Guys now just have an agent. Those days are gone. You need management. You're you're you need management. McDonald's can't open without management. People aren't just gonna show up and work on time and you food prep on time. They're not gonna do it. Somebody has to manage that situation. And these players need management at a much greater level than they've ever had. This, the, the day of the just agent in the NBA, if the NBA hadn't figured it out, somebody needs to figure it out.